So I have this layout that's right here, but this weird thing is happening where if I come in and I add it to this grid layout area, which has these four sections in it, when I create the layout here, I'm getting all of this extra space. And this is really weird, right? Well, my friend and friends, this actually is exactly the situation that somebody in my Discord server recently ran into. And I know this is a problem other people do too. So I wanna look at the solution for it. And to really understand what's happening, the first thing I'm gonna do is add an outline here. I'm gonna do three pixels solid and we'll do chartreuse as a color because I'm into the weird color names these days. And we can see that it's taking up all this height here. And the reason it's doing that is because we're actually inside of this main layout here where I have the nav on one side and this going here. And my main layout, this could either be Flexbox or Grid, it really doesn't matter. Either one of those would cause this to happen, where my nav, because I've given it a height of 75 VH, uh, is, is really big. So this side is stretching to match. And because it's stretching to match, Grid does this thing, where if we don't have any defined rows, if we go and take a look at our grid, let's turn that one on, you can see that those rows that it's generating right now are going to fill up the entire space because we're in the stretch mode. So the grid is stretching and then the rows, they're just auto height. So those, that auto height is just gonna fill that available space and then the content is gonna be in there and then we end up with all this extra space coming in here and it can be definitely a little bit annoying. And to be able to fix this, luckily it's really, really easy. We can just come on here and it doesn't really matter where we declare it, but I like doing it after my uh, template rows and columns. I'm gonna come in with an align content of uh, start is what to do center, but we want to do start and we're going to see it pulls everything up and align content is something that I think not enough people know about, but you can see if I turn that off and we turn off this, my layout starts going more to what I originally wanted. And I technically could have done something similar in the main layout too, to pull everything up, but I want to look specifically at doing it on the layout where the issue was happening in the first place and why it's working. Cause you can see now my, my entire grid has moved like that. If I didn't align items instead of align content, what's happening is, well, nothing's actually changing because align items start is the default. So I'm gonna switch this over to a center and we're gonna see that these get centered within their cells. So with grid, anytime we're using the items keyword, we're talking about the positioning of the item within the cell that it's already in and it won't impact the size of that cell. Whereas if we use an align content, it's affecting the grid itself not the element itself, because that element is still stretching and is still that entire height. And it's gonna make those rows as small as they can just because I haven't declared any rows anywhere. So it's just the, the intrinsic rows being created and they're getting now as small as they can. And because I'm doing align content center, it's centering the grid itself within the parent. And as we said, we wanna use a start here instead and it pulls it up. And if you'd like to go more in depth in how all of this works, the align content, align items, uh, justify content and justify items, I've done a in-depth video with looking at grid and understanding it all and sort of making that mental model of how it works to make sure we're really getting it. And I've also covered all of those alignment and justification properties in Flexbox as well, because Flexbox is similar, but a little bit different. So if either one of those worlds confuses you, you can find those two videos right here for your viewing pleasure. And with that, I would like to thank my enablers of awesome, Tim and Simon, as well as all of my other patrons and channel members for their monthly support. And of course, until next time, don't forget to make your corner of the internet just a little bit more awesome.